and uh, um, in um, uh, I think that uh, one of the of the important things we have uh, been doing in, during these uh, nine years is also to survey uh, in some way uh, the mushrooming of groups, uh, sometimes very small uh, groups, a few people who locally organize themselves in committees, associations, in order to monitor, oversee, and if necessary, to contest official uh, decision decisions about their territory. Uh, obviously, we, we cannot investigate the composition and the real aims of these committees, and we limit ourselves to register the statements uh, and the interest on cultural heritage. But uh, uh, this movement, uh, which is a very scattered and fragmentary movement, uh, I think it's, a, a, mm, it's a, a, a very good, a very important trend. Um, uh, we think important to document it now because it can be short-lived uh, and um, especially in a country uh, like Italy it is important to survey these uh, movements because uh, in Italy people of have often complained about the limited attention to art heritage and landscape and so we feel this revival of civic consci conscience is uh, uplifting. Uh, now, why am I here today uh, in a conference about museums to speak about uh, this experience, to tell you about this experience? Clearly, museums are not our main focus uh, because, uh, as I told, we are uh, equally interested in landscape and in town planning, as well in excavations, in uh, uh, archaeological sites, in church property, etc. Nonetheless, museums are an important part of our heritage and we are careful to follow the vicissitudes of our own as well as of foreign museums. For example, we have been following attentively some cases such as the Abu Dhabi Louvre, collecting articles also from the foreign press in this case uh, because um, the, the Abu Dhabi Louvre has aroused great interest also in Italy. Uh, it has immediately been, it has been proposed as a model for Italian museums too. Um, we also look at and report about the new forms of management of Italian museums, such as the system adopted by the Museo Egizio of Turin. And we are deeply concerned about those approaches which consider museums only in terms of number of visitors and in terms of the improvement of services such as restaurants, shops and gadgets. And uh, indeed our informants uh, too show a concern about topics regarding museums and galleries. Uh, among uh, many examples, uh, I can mention the short essays by an expert on the history of the Galleria Corsini at Rome, Enzo Borsellino, about the future of the collection, which until recently ran the risk of being dismembered and united to the Barberini collection, and now runs the risk to be displayed according to the inventory of 1784 in this way, many important paintings acquired after, purchased after uh, 1784 would be transferred away. Another example is furnished by uh, Fulvio Cervini of the University of Florence with an essay entitled Protection Doesn't Exist Anymore. And then um, Italian expression, which is very difficult to, uh, for me, it's very difficult to uh, translate into English, uh, parola di ministero, it's, an, uh, I, it's uh, I, obviously ironical, um, uh, it could be official statement by the ministry. And um, he comments, Cervini comments uh, uh, the, sorry, this was, uh, I, did, I forget, forget, uh, a list of the, uh, um, Cervini comments the bombastic announcement in this essay. Uh, he comments the bombastic announcement made last summer by the general director for promotion uh, of the Ministry of Culture. Um, and uh, uh, it was an uh, announcement um, on the increase of visits in 2010. Um, this is the depliant who was printed in that uh, occasion. And uh, you see more than 18 uh, million visitors uh, in the 419 state museums uh, during the first half of 2010, plus 12.20%. Uh, These results are observed by a young man taken from a pro portrait by Antonello da Messina. Uh, not only this portrait is not in an Italian collection, it is in the National Gallery uh, in London, 
So paradoxically, a painting purchased in Genoa in 1884, more than 20 years after the Italian unification, indulgently cheers the successful figures of Italian national museums. But another paradox is pointed out by Cervini. The serious young man of uh, uh, Antonello has been uh, turned into a smiling young man. <laughs> you can see that his lips are visibly altered to give him an expression of mild satisfaction. Please. Cervini comments, uh, perhaps a divertissement, some, something similar to the manipulation of Leonardo's Mona Lisa. But uh, how much, he asks, is this image generally familiar to common people? And how many persons can detect uh, the transformation? And uh, we could further ask, uh, if someone, someone happy was needed for the ad, why not a man who has been smiling since it was created? Another Antonello in the more domestic Sicilian Museum of Cefalu, the man, the man smiling, the smiling man, so. Um, if the maquillage were not a divertissement, the manipulation of this image could be considered as the quintessence, quintessence of a very care, careless approach to works of art and to museums, and it is against this careless approach that we daily work. Thank you.